Good morning and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm your host, Brooklyn Porter, investigating just how technology, students, and learning merge to shape the world that we will all live in tomorrow. With me today, as always, is Celeste Puschitelli to help bring us the best stories from around the world. Today, we are going to visit an innovative high school where students are learning how to amplify their education. They are literally developing personal amplifiers from concept to market by employing the design thinking model taught to all students in the STEM program. We have a series of stories today to show you just how they do it and what they are learning. Colin Clark brings us our first story from the drafting lab on the Colfax High School campus. Hi, my name is Courtney Alter. We're coming to you from Colfax High School. Right now we're standing outside the drafting lab where students are hard at work. The essential part of board drafting in CAD is to get an in-depth idea of how to build your sound tube. Board drafting is sort of like blueprints. You're drawing out a model of something and it's really the first step towards building the actual physical model. While board drafting offers those traits, computer-aided drafting and design, or CAD, offers even more precise measurements and construction of an object or assembly through a computer. I had a hard time sitting still and really doing one task for a really long time. Board drafting really helped me with that because you have to be really precise with your lines and your measurements. Once completed, they build a scaled 3D model of the amp using Autodesk Inventor before ever using any materials to build the amp. It helps us visualize what we're going to create. Reporting from Colfax High School, I'm Courtney Alter for Tech Talk. From a blank piece of paper to a scaled 3D model and all that before they ever touch any materials. You have my attention, Colfax. What's next, Celeste? Although students are building individual amps for their great deal of teamwork and tools that support their efforts, Ponka Kernax has this story on how these designers employ the Google Apps Suite to document their work. Hi, I'm Ponka Kernax and we are outside the Tech Essentials Lab at Colfax High School. Now, let's go inside and see how students use Google Apps. My name is Samantha Mayer. We use Google Apps in Tech Essentials for our portfolio and all our documents and writing everything. Posting on my portfolio represents what I've done by showing everything that I've created throughout the year and all the great like projects that I've done. In conclusion, Google Apps are a collection of applications that allow students to collaborate in order to produce quality work. I'm Ponka Kernax, reporting for Tech Talk at Colfax High School. Clearly, Google is far more than just a search engine and email provider for these students. It seems like there's been a lot of design work done so far. Celeste, when are they going to get their hands dirty and build? That's a fair question, but they're not going to rush into building until they're ready. Plastic molding, wood cutting, and circuit board soldering requires a good plan before jumping in. Grace Bliss wanted to do just that and find out what these makers had to tackle to make their amps come to life. The Tech Essentials program at Colfax High School helps students learn the basics of fabrication and technology. Throughout this four-month program, students build the parts for and assemble a working sound tube that allows them to play music. My name is Grace Bliss and right now we're outside the Tech Essentials fabrication room at Colfax High. Inside is where the students built their sound tube and the electronics that went into it. Right now we're going in to interview some students on their thoughts about the process. Our TA, Kyle, used heat to mill plastic sheets into the shape of the plastic caps. I use the plastic caps to support the speakers in the sound tubes to keep them composed so they won't fall out. We sawed them and glued them together to make the actual shape of the sound tube. We needed to know how to solder. We needed to know how to use a drill. And some of the parts on our circuit board were polarity sensitive, which means one end is negative and one end is positive, And we needed to be able to identify which end is which. This all came together to form the sound tube. I'm Grace Bliss, signing out for Tech Talk. Clearly, there is no sitting around and waiting for learning to happen for these students. It is hard to believe that this is all done in one term and in the freshman year nonetheless. We are going to take a quick break and when we come back, Elizabeth Cerna will take a look at how these designers learn to brand themselves through graphic design and get ready to join a team of fellow designers to share their work with the world. Hey, I'm Jonathan Schwartz. I teach engineering here at Colfax High School. Really excited about AMP Up on December 9th. 
I have a lot of kids doing a lot of cool things that they're gonna show off at the Amp Up. Hey guys, what are you guys doing on December 9th at 8.30 a.m.? If you guys answered nothing to this question, then come on down to Colfax High School for the 2016 Amp Up Expo. For Mr. Wolf and Mr. Kidsey's class, the freshman students will be showing off their sound tubes. For Mrs. Barusso's art class at the Amp Up Expo, we're going to be putting up a series of artwork on sale. For the Amp Up Expo, we will not only be transforming the foyer, but also the insides of Gym A. For this year's Amp Up Expo, my advanced students will be showing off their best work. They've been working all year on creating beautiful masterpieces for you to see. So just remember, 8.30 to 10.30. At Colfax High School. <laughs> Welcome back to Tech Talk. In our last segment, we just saw how designers built their amps, but the design process does not stop there. These students are made aware that great ideas are only as good as your ability to communicate those ideas. Elizabeth Sarda takes a look at how each designer brands him or herself and how they prepare as small companies to share their products with a live audience at their annual Amp Up Expo. Here at CHS, graphic design is the core subject in our tech essential class. We interviewed two Colfax students on their experiences in this class and how they still use these tools today. What was the process you went through to create your personal logo? Researching other logos and then coming up with my own logo and creating something that I like. We sketched it out and after that we just scanned it and put it into Photoshop. What tools did you need to learn how to use to build your logo? Uh, I needed to learn how to use Photoshop. And I also needed to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator. What do you personally think? Our company's name was Amp on Fire. We got like some red and uh, orange tissue paper and it like made it look like flames. It's like more of a fun kind of look. We have a slogan which is making dreams come true since 2002. After these interviews, it became clear that the graphic design portion of Tech Essentials gives students many skills and experience in Photoshop and Illustrator. Reporting for Tech Talk, I'm Peacha Smith and I'm Elizabeth Serna. Such a wonderful display of the students' hard work. The freshman class of 2020 would like to send a big thanks to Mr. Wolf and Mr. Kinsey for helping us all along the way. Thank you for watching. Have a great time at the Amp Up Expo.